Okay, in this video we're going to talk about hooking the quadcopter up to the DJI NASA com computer program. Get your uh, settings in there. I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm using a uh, micro USB plug to USB. Um, you're going to take the supply unit here. This is your uh, voltage regulator and your LED light that shines through underneath there and you're going to plug the micro USB okay so that's plugged in now before you do anything you're going to power the transmitter on power the quadcopter on and you're simply going to plug it into the USB port on the computer now before you go into, you're going to need to download the program, you're going to want to go to DJI Innovations, you're going to go to Products, NASA M, you're going to go over here to Downloads, and you're going to want to get the latest software, the firmware I upgraded, it's, uh, it's at the highest firmware right now, you'll want to download the user manual and look at that. And you want to download the driver installer. If you have Windows 8, make sure you use this top one, otherwise it will not work. So that's the driver installer is for the USB cable adapter, and then you have your NASA software assistant 1.8, which I've already done that. So we're gonna open that up. I always recommend you never have props on doing this, but this isn't the first time I've plugged this in, so uh, I know that it says multi uh, controller output off, so it won't it won't actually spin the props. I'll zoom in here. All right, the first thing we want to do is these measurements are already in, and we want to uh, make sure that actually Z needs to be at. Minus one, four to the right, and minus one four. That's that looks good. So that minus five, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the motor mixer here. We're, we chose a quad rotor X, so the black is your forward direction there. TX calibration, I've already calibrated the transmitter. Uh, that's all good. Your sticks monitor is going to be X1 and X2 out of the NASA unit. As you can see, I have the flight mode set up on switch C. And we're going to go to autopilot. I have your home locks set up on switch G, which is this switch here. You have your intelligent orientation control, so you have your course lock and home lock. Now this VR knob here is going to be used for your gimbal tilt. So I'm going to leave that in the center. When I get the gimbal put on the quad, then we'll be able to do that. Switch B, this will be your fail safe. And your flight modes will be in C. Forward being all the way forward will be uh, manual. Uh, altitude hold and GPS hold, which is this is the setting I want you to fly in uh, to start. It'll be the best one for you. I have your gains all adjusted. I'm giving you 130 on pitch and roll, 120 on yaw, and 120 on vertical, which we're going to change that to 100. And I'm going to write. There we go. It's set to go home and land automatically. Your gimbal right now is off, but when I get the gimbal put on the quad, uh, I'll go through and change that and turn that on. And your battery, your battery voltage is is on. It's uh, set to a 3S right now. You can go through and change that to a 4S. Uh, this is nice to have. It'll give you two warning lights, yellow and then red. When uh, when red starts to blink, it's going to start descending if you don't bring it in and land it. So that's a real important uh, feature. And as you can see, everything is good. So we're going to close out of this first.
And now we're gonna unplug it. We'll power off the quad. And it should be good to go. Another thing we did here is uh, put in some fancy LED lights. So those will be a cool little feature at night. Nice and blue. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, we'll get all taken care of. Thanks.